Hi Scorpio, welcome back. This is going to be your next 48, March 7 and 8 for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node for Scorpio. The set of messages are for you, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, March 7 and 8 for Scorpio. March 7 and 8 for Scorpio, okay? First card out is the uh, Two of Swords. So you're undecided, you're at a stalemate, you're not sure what to do. So I'm getting you're gonna apologize to somebody, but then you're like, nah, I'm good. Or somebody was gonna apologize to you, but they decided not to. So yeah, could be a Libran. Or maybe somebody's cold or they just, they don't, mm -mm. Okay, somebody's not open to this apology. They don't wanna hear it, see it, talk about it or nothing. Somebody's um, heart chakra is completely closed off to you or you are. Because I feel like somebody, cause I feel like somebody double crossed somebody, or somebody just they do shit. Yeah, we yeah somebody's withholding an apology. I feel like somebody knows they need to apologize or come correct, but they're holding back or they're withholding it. Like somebody gives a fuck. The two of swords is not giving a fuck. Literally, I don't care either way. I'm indifferent. I don't care if you do. I don't care if you don't. It's the energy that you're in, or the energy that this person is in that you're wanting to apologize to, or whatever. You pick what side of the shit you're on, but I'm getting some no go. Somebody's not give a fuck. What's the two of swords? Yeah, the tower card and the magician. There we go. And there's this eight of swords and the devil. Wow, that, that's an omen. Yeah, somebody is, yeah, the ten of wands. Yeah, somebody is laying, yeah, the seven of wands. Yeah, somebody's laying it on thick. These cards are showing up like this for a motherfucking reason. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna see. We got the tower here. So this is you, Scorpio. Yeah, that's conf confirmation. Those birds doing that really loudly, chirping really loudly. So somebody, I, I, I just want you to know, there it is again. I know y'all probably can't hear it, but it's very loud by my window. I just want you to know, if you're doing this to somebody, it's gonna be a lose-lose with the two of swords. That's a lose-lose situation. It's not gonna happen. Because this is your energy, um, Scorpio. The tower card and the magician showing up. So I'm getting you're trying to call somebody a tower in their life or you're doing some kind of wicked, destructive shit just like Scorpios do. They are vengeful. They are hateful. They are destruction, destructive. They hold on to shit forever. You and Capricorns, here it is again. You and Capricorn are the signs that hold on to vengeance and hate and you always want retaliation and always want and, and never gets over shit or let shit go. That's why a lot of times motherfuckers are hindered in their life because because they don't know how to let go of shit. They, they have this destructive tendency. They just are determined to destroy another person. It's just not going to happen. So whatever you're doing, just know it's a lose-lose. I'm, I'm serious. The two of swords is there. Okay, yeah, the two, yeah, the seven. This is going to backfire. Seven of wands and the tower is a huge backfire together. I'm getting, as soon as you attempt to do something to somebody, it instantly comes back on you. So you sit there, you do the work, and then you think you put it out there. You affected somebody, and then it turns back on you. Then you're life is fucked up it, it, it's like a boot it comes right back on you and, and and the more you do to try to do to this person the more they blow up so somebody here is really really trying here and it's backfiring blowing up in somebody's face literally in somebody's face something could be blowing up or, or something we got the eight of swords the devil capricorn energy and the ten of wands somebody is doing obsessive moon magic black magic and some more shit to hinder to block somebody to keep somebody stuck or trapped or stagnant or something like that the ten of wands somebody is putting they're, they're pulling out everything in their arsenal that they know how to do to uh, yeah they could even be working with other people and nine of wands three of pentacles i feel like they're all annoyed because it's not going to work. You're going to suffer for this. You're going to suffer. I, I just heard that. Something is going to be bad. Really, really bad. Okay? This is you, this Aries, this um, or this uh, Capricorn or Gemini or whatever. Or whoever you in cahoots it with, man. Yeah, Taurus. You can have Taurus, highly aspect, the high font, king of pentacles, and the ten of pentacles. With the moon, this could be your family. You're doing something hateful. Yeah, the five of swords. There it is. Yeah, because somebody is a celebrity or somebody is a star. Literally, look how the five of swords is looking over at this Aquarius. Because somebody's inspirational. They're a star. They're beautiful. They're winning. Somebody's mad. That's simply why, you fucking loser. You bottom feeder and you goddamn rat. You need to go somewhere. This a fucking peer. Somebody just doesn't get it. No matter what the fuck you try to do, you bitch, it ain't gonna work. And I feel like this is a whole male, a masculine energy that is sweet. I'm telling you, dog. That has probably slept with men and kept it on the fucking low. 
Somebody is sweet. Competing with a female is what I'm getting like somebody is doing here. Just sweet for no reason. Sweet ass nigga. Let's see what the, yeah, the star, the four swords, because somebody's at peace. They're resting. They're good. They're inspirational. They don't care. They're unbothered. They work for everything that they have, the position that they in. Somebody just keeps, they're determined to try to cause this. I mean, for these cards to come out, somebody is working. Every time the moon cycle comes, this person is ready for it, waiting. Let me do this. Let me, let me block them. Let me fuck with their beauty. Let me fuck with their money. Let me fuck with their stardom. Let me keep them trapped or stuck or blocked. And it's just not going be that way yeah the sun is always gonna shine just period it's always going to come out and shine bitch i don't give a fuck if it's a natural disaster that's what the uh, tower is natural disasters the sun is still gonna shine bitch it's always gonna come up five 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 that is your number scorpio that's a card of disruption that's a card of major change. I'm sure something somebody's trying to cause a like like a somebody wants somebody to be devastated, broke down to the point where they just want to die. That's not gonna happen. Like yeah, the death, the five of pentacles, four of wands, ten of swords, and the five of cups. You're gonna be disappointed. Somebody somebody's also trying to make somebody homeless, completely out on the streets, homeless. They need to be broke because then they'll come back to me. This person could go broke tomorrow. It'll never happen because it ain't in their destiny. But they could, I'm just giving you an example, and they would, you'd be the last person they think about or go back to, bitch. The last. I feel like you know that. That's why you're constantly doing work on somebody. Yeah, the five of wands in the reverse and the death card is over. Something has changed. Somebody doesn't have to compete. They're not going to compete, argue, or fight, or do any of that. The competition, the, the all that, that's over. Death card and the five of wands. Somebody does not have to go through that. They're not going to. What is this energy here? Why is this? What, what is this person doing? Yeah, the Ten of Swords is over. And the Five of Cups is completely over. As soon as you try to look at this, the Eight of Swords is a, is a spell or a trap or a bind, binding spells. But the Ten of Swords is it's being broken. As soon as you attempt to do this to this person, it's over. It's like the universe is telling somebody, change. Stop. This is you, Scorpio. Stop with the destructive shit. Stop trying to attack someone. Bring them down. Stop. It's not working in your fucking favor. It is going to tear you apart. I feel like somebody's karma is going to be death here. I just heard that. Someone's karma for attacking someone is going to be death. It's coming. I don't give a fuck how long it's going to And it's going to come when you least expect it. Because this is the only way to rid somebody of someone's energy. They just refuse to leave somebody the fuck alone. So this is, has to be their, their fate. Because they they, they just refuse. I, the, I just hear the universe saying, stop doing this, dog. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. And somebody just continues to try and do this. They continue. Somebody is, is, a, is a fucking loser to their core, my nigga. Like, I swear to God. And, and, and the universe is saying, stop stop doing this shit. Stop doing this, this competition step shit. Stop trying to create chaos. Stop trying to do whatever the fuck you're doing. This person is not going to have chaos in their life. Yeah, you see this six of swords. Every time the ten of swords, five of cups, you're left with disappointment. This is your energy again, Scorpio. Someone's going to be guided away. Six of swords is our guides, protection, our hidden helpers. They're This person and their child, because it's a child there in the boat. So this is somebody you have a child with you're doing spell work on. So ultimately, you're attacking them, their child, the child. Child, that it, it, your own seed, your child, you're, you're ultimately doing this. You're going to that. That's like quadruple the karma because a child is innocent. Why the fuck are you doing any of this to somebody? I don't give a fuck if you're saying I'm only doing it to them. If you have a child with somebody and they, you that there is an attachment there, you are you are ultimately if you're attacking their your baby daddy or your baby mama, you are ultimately attacking that fucking child. But I feel like here somebody don't give a fuck about their child. They never did. They don't care. All they care about is bringing somebody down. And then they're disappointed and sad. The Two of Swords is a lose-lose. It's a no, bitch. It is a no. Somebody's moving. Yeah, look at that. Six of Swords straight into the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Somebody's moving in, into new shit. Growing exponentially. They're going. They're moving on. Yeah, a star. Somebody's mad because you're a star and you're celebrated. And they sit back and they watch and they look at their miserable fucking life and how they haven't accomplished anything or did anything and how you're winning and how, yeah, this is over. World card is over. The death in the world. Somebody cannot accept that something is over or that somebody is world renowned or they're becoming that or this is you. Yeah, the three of swords and the eight of cups is over. 
Every time you attempt to do this, you will suffer. And if it's that serious for you to suffer in your life, because I feel like somebody's sick within too. I feel like somebody's been trying to make somebody else sick or put their sickness on somebody or project that on somebody or attack somebody. It's just not going to happen, bitch. I have to go get the other, the other deck for you because you were the only sign that came out like this. Off the rip, black magic spell work that's backfiring like a motherfucker, dog. <laughs> Hell no, nah. somebody here is fucking slow. What's the, uh, what is this? Yeah, the judgment. This is your calling. Somebody's going to be under heavy judgment here. Or this is this person's call, calling. Yeah, the six of wands to be a speaker, to be successful. I'm getting like a lot of likes, comments, subscribes, or something is going viral or something like that. Somebody is winning, bitch. They work for it. They deserve it. Why are you on they dick? Why are you obsessed with them? No matter what happens, this person is going to always be successful. It's in their destiny. So off yourself. So you don't have to watch it or see it or anything. Make the world a better fucking place. Without your loser ass here attacking motherfuckers for no fucking reason. Because you're miserable. You made wrong choices. You're always in jail or, 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 you, or, or whatever. Your, your family, don't they, they, they don't stand by you to make good decisions. They enable you or they probably laugh at your ass. Yeah, the justice is here. Six of Cups. Someone's going to get justice for whatever happens to with, whatever you're trying to do with this child or whatever happened in the past. This Libra is getting justice for it. Or this is you. You pick what side of the shit you're on. Somebody knows they need to apologize and come correct. But that no, I'm not going to do that. They're stubborn. Four, you can have Taurus highly aspected. Very heavy score. Somebody that has very heavy scor Scorpio places. I feel like with the Tower and the Sun, somebody's a Scorpio Sun, and then with the um, Ace of Swords and the Death card, someone's a Scorpio Sun and Scorpio Rising. But they could have Taurus like Moon or some or Taurus somewhere. So somebody is like they they want to possess and control somebody or, or something like that, or somebody holds on to things. Capricorns and Scorpios they hold on to shit, and they never and they never fucking let it go. They always think about it, and that's why their life is hindered because they, they, they don't know how to heal and move forward in their fucking life. They're a loser or this is you. What's the devil? The ten of wands, eight of swords. So now somebody, yeah, somebody's putting in hella fucking work trying to do something here to you. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, the hermit doing something in the dark. Somebody, somebody's very powerful. They, they, they astral project. They know how to go see what you're doing, what tools you're using, what you're trying to do next, everything and their ancestors. Somebody's always going to be 10 steps ahead of your weak ass. This is not going to work just ever. The world card is here. The death. This is somebody's calling. They're called to be successful. They're called to be celebrated. A star, a huge one to be successful, to speak out, to be, to be, um, whatever this is. This is just what it's going to be. Yeah. The three of wands. This is this person's future. Look, three of wands is looking towards, looking towards the will of fortune. This is someone's destiny. They, the three of wands looks towards the future. If somebody is destined to be, this is their destiny. Destiny. They were chosen for it. You cannot change somebody's destiny. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Somebody's a loser. Like a top tier one. What's the Five of Cups? I feel like somebody, every time you, you, you try to move forward in life, somebody's waiting, sitting, and watching to see what they can disrupt or block. Yup, mouth ass bitch. Justice card. I feel like even when somebody, like somebody here is just, I, I'm, I'm picturing a male, a very sick one. Yeah, the justice in the seven of cups and the four of cups. Somebody's confused, literally. Justice is here. How you keep getting justice? How you keep winning? How do you keep, uh, um, how do you keep, how, how is this happening? Like, how is this not working? What the fuck? Somebody is like literally going crazy in their psycho, stupid, sick fucking head. I just get somebody with a very ugly smile too. Like, and I don't say ugly because I, I'm just getting, it's mysterious. Somebody laughs. They, they like to do sadistic and diabolical shit. And then they sit and smile with their yellow ass teeth that's all over their fucking mouth. Because it ain't nothing about, it, 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 don't, it don't have nothing to do with, with your teeth not being straight or whatever. Because I've seen, I've met plenty of people don't have the straightest teeth in the world and smiles are beautiful. It lights up a motherfucking room. I met plenty of people like that. A beautiful smile is not determined by how straight your fucking teeth are. I'm sorry. Anybody can go get veneers and get their teeth done. Just like you can fatten your ass or get bigger boobs if you want to. It takes a lot of it takes a lot of um self-esteem to to accept you for who you are and accept you for for you. 
But I'm, 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 so when I say this, when I say somebody with their fucked up, um, or, or their, or their disgusting smile, I'm, t I'm talking about somebody that they, they just very mischievous. They, they actually don't have the best smile, but on top of that, them being so wicked makes them even more ugly. Like somebody is just wicked. They laugh. They like to laugh at people. So even though I don't see any cards of laughing, somebody's actually disappointed. I'm getting this is what this person has done in the past. Anything that happens to you, any little disruption you have in your life, this person is laughing and, and trying to celebrate it. And then it's short lived. They only they only get to celebrate for a second, and then you're back up or you're back stuck or or something don't even affect you like that or whatever the fuck. Somebody's always looking for a way to to disrupt you, to cause you pain in your fucking life, and it's just not gonna happen that way. Or this is you. So somebody is confused. Justice card. How are you getting justice? How is this not working? I'm bored. I'm discontent. Nobody has. Somebody has. They they lost you. That's what it is. They lost you, bitch. And somebody feels like a fucking loser. They ask themselves, literally, they ask themselves, or this is you? Because I feel like this is you, Scorpio. Why am I a loser? How can, how, um, um, because I feel like somebody has went through a string of losses in their life. Their family never really supported them or enabled them to do the shit that they do all their life, hindered them really by not standing up and saying, this is wrong. They were in cahoots, they're in cahoots with the nigga. They all, all evil and wicked for no fucking reason other than jealous and petty. I don't give a fuck if you walk around like you got the most money in the world and you're so great. I don't give a fuck if you're a billionaire. If you're wicked in your motherfucking core, bitch, your life will reflect that. And you'll end up losing everything any fucking way. Now somebody nine of swords, they're worried and they're shook and they're all this shit. Somebody is a bottom feeder loser. Anybody that can do work on somebody they have a child with. And potentially hurt their child. Bitch, you you already set yourself up for misery. I feel like somebody is cursed to a miserable life. And they keep trying to put that on somebody else. And it's not going to happen. You keep trying to blame somebody for your indiscretions. And your past mistakes. And the choices you chose to make. That's on you. It has nothing to do with this person. And you're going to see that. Because this person is going to live a very good life. They don't deserve karma. They already went through their karma. They already went through their losses. They don't deserve any of that. You're not going to put it on them either, bitch. It's never going to happen. You, your posse, this bad, built body, wise, stinking ass Capricorn you in cahoots with, this Cancer, this Aries, or whoever the fuck you in cahoots with, it, it, all you bitches is going to suffer. Yeah, this Cancer and everybody, all you bitches is going to suffer. You're not going to fuck with this, this chosen one. I promise you, you're not. Nothing, yeah, the nine of cups, someone's going to live in the lap of luxury, just period. Someone's mad because you moved on eight of cups, you left their ass behind. Maybe you left several people behind and you went straight on to the good life and they feel like they lost. They're broke, they're assed out, they're struggling, they, they, they can't get, yeah, so the nine of wands, they keep going through a string of loss and heartache and sadness. Someone's battered and bruised and... And, and um, shit is just really unstable. Yeah, the three of swords and the two of pinnacles, they keep going through heartbreaks and endings and shit is up and down in their life. Or this is what someone's trying to do to you. The moon card, somebody, somebody's trying to keep you in a state of heartbreak and lack. It could be a Libra you're doing this to, to keep them heartbroken and sad and shit like that. But Libras are the three of swords. They rule that. So they can, they can go through heartbreak, but they can also get over it and heal and move forward. And, so, and that's what somebody has done. You're not going to keep somebody in a string of heart fate. You are insignificant, minuscule. You are like a, a speck bitch in the bigger picture of this person's life. Nothing you're doing or nothing you're going to do is going to affect them. You fucking coward and you loser, bitch. You will never be around this child again. You will never be around this baby daddy, mother, or whoever you're doing. You pick with side because you're an evil, wicked loser in your fucking life. And you and you and you are you're just a wicked soul. I, I can't say it enough. Somebody is wicked. And they're demonic. I feel like somebody was birthed and conceived simply to be a demonic force on this earth to try to attack people to be miserable and then to suffer because that's what they're doing. I feel like somebody wants somebody else to suffer real, real bad. They want them to be sick and weighed down and burdened and none of that is happening. It's never going to. Somebody's going to be miserable, dog. So miserable. Let me get off this weak ass reading because this looks like some hoe shit. Like real hoe shit. This is hoe. 
What's the seven of cups and the four of cups? Yeah, yeah, the, and the empress. Somebody's like, damn, how, why is it this? How are they still beautiful? How are they still sexy? How, and somebody's also confused as to how are you this beautiful? Because the empress is usually between 35 and older, but they always look 10 years younger than their age. Somebody somebody could be a double Libra, so they look, they look even younger than their age. Even younger than 10 years younger, somebody takes care of themselves. How are you still the empress? How are you still beautiful? This isn't working. How are you at how are you resting? Yeah, another Libra card. How are you at sleep or at peace? When I'm when I'm doing all this, bitch, you're weak. That's why. You're not powerful. Just period. The universe is gonna strip you of anything you're trying to do anyway. They they're gonna strip you. God, they're not gonna allow you to do this to this person. They don't deserve it. Yeah. The ace of wands, three of pentacles. How are you still getting new ideas and working and blogging and intelligent and putting in work and skilled and loved? And 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 how do you still have love and relationships and free how? You slow ass bitch. I'm I'm over this dumb ass ring. Yeah, yeah, because this is dumb. It's not going anywhere. It's never going to happen. It's just never going to happen. Yeah, the three of swords, somebody's in the reverse. A heavy Libra in energy. Somebody is not heartbroken, sad. They are good. Nothing you're doing is working on them or any of that. Yeah, the king of wands in reverse. Somebody, somebody wants to control somebody. Somebody's abusive as well. Yeah, the three of swords in reverse, two of cups. You're still love. You're of love. You still have love for someone. Someone's still in love. They're, you're not breaking up or ending shit. Somebody's going to have love, marriage, kids, whatever they want. They're destined for it. Fame, fortune, and riches. That's what's going to happen. And it, whether you like it or not, yeah, chair it. Onward and upward forward movement. And that's what someone's doing. They're, they're, they're done, bitch. And you're done, loser. So those are your messages. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that shit. And make sure to follow your girl on TikTok at the um, underscore TikTok Empress.